Uh, listen, we went stiff on Josh Harley, so that brings us to the stiff one of the week, for God's sakes. Um, every, every week, we, uh, we play a clip of Kev or someone talking about Kev going a little stiff. This week, it's uh, the Honky Tonk Man. Everyone's famous, uh, everyone's favorite Elvis impersonator. A very early star of the shoot genre, which I, of course, could thank him for. He has publicly said that we all should be thanking him for all of the uh, recorded wrestling programming now in the podcast and shoot interview world. Maybe he's right. I don't know. Cause for debate. Let's see. Let's see this week's uh, stiff one of the week. Honky Tonk. I said something one time. That sorry motherfucker. I'd show this fucking thing right up his fucking cocksucking ass. He says one time, I was not a great champion. Hey, Nash, what you, you motherfucker, you couldn't even sell the garden out and you were the world's champion. I sold the fucking garden out eight fucking times. Eight times is not a lot. Bruno sold it out a whole bunch more. So did Hogan. How many times you sell a garden out, Nash? How many fucking times did you sell out Boston, Chicago, Detroit, Montreal, Toronto, Miami, San Francisco, San Diego, L.A.? How many fucking times? Hard places to sell out, Salt Lake City. I've been everywhere. Denver, Colorado. None. Not a fucking time. I will put my record... I'll put my gate receipts against your lazy ass any fucking day of the week. Fuck you. What's Thank the you. source of that? Is of that heat? Was there ever a personal exchange? I never, even, I never even met the fucking right. guy. I never even saw him. He done some shit on the internet. He was defending right. Ric Flair, or Jeff Jarrett, or somebody. I don't right. know whose dick he was sucking. That was my voice. So that I, must have I, been I, you, shoot. So, I, so I, I guess, um, never met me before, but he would. So I. I, I have to say this, and I, I, I'm not going to say anything negative about him because for somebody I never met, he came and worked a match when I worked. A, I had a pediatric AIDS uh, event in downtown Phoenix, and uh, he came and and worked a, a match on, on my on my card. Didn't I didn't ask. He just showed up. He lived he lived in Phoenix, and um, so uh, I have nothing. You know what? I have nothing bad. He, he, he can say whatever he wants. I don't think he can get that belt up my ass because I'm absolutely a power top. And, uh, you know. It was so. actually a, a Gatorade bottle filled with vodka that night. I remember the night. Yeah. That's what was going up your ass, by the way. You know, it's a funny thing, though. You know, they say that's a quick absorption through the small intestines. That's the way to get high, right? Stick it up your ass. Um. A little wine enema that a, that a hippie chick taught me in college. I sold out the garden. That phrase, he's not the only one uh, that I've heard talk this way. Um, does one person ever sell anything out? Maybe with the exception of Bruno. You know, Bruno, top of the card, he, he went to see Bruno. But after Bruno. Yeah, but if Bruno, I mean, if Bruno doesn't have an opponent, do you really fucking, are you going to go? Drop. I don't know what a ticket was back then. Okay, good dollar, point. Dollar thirty-five. Right. Um, whatever the fuck it is, but I mean, it was funny last night. They were talking about Madison Square Garden. Uh, the last the last raw I watched, I should say. They were talking about Madison Square Garden. They were talking about you know how these you know they were talking about Roman Reigns and how you know he's been the champion for I think seven hundred days or whatever. I'm thinking. Was it Bruno the champion for like fucking seventy three years? It was uh, the first run was like sixty three to uh, oh, people get on me here sixty three to to seventy, and then it was uh, then a shorter one seventy something. It was a total of I think maybe I don't know eight years, ten years. I sh I should know this. I did a show with Bruno, but you know, yeah, you get to, to fifty. He still, I mean, he still looks like he can fucking go. Um, now, but see now Hogan. You probably could have put now, Hogan, Hogan in the and, ring with Hogan, a chair, and people H would have come. Hogan, fucking absolutely. I'm sorry, but fucking like you with the IC belt, with, with the, you were never on top in the guard. You just weren't. Fucking like you might have been last match because fucking Hulk, when he was the champion, went on fourth. So you get the fuck out of there, mm. you know. But right. that, that doesn't mean it's your house. 
All right, that was a stiff one of the week.